The next mode that we're going to talk about is volume control in the assist control mode. In volume control, again, based on our controllers earlier, set is tidal volume and flow, and variable is peak inspiratory pressure and your eye time. So if you have a set flow, and we've talked about the different flow patterns or the different waveforms in which the set is a square. So that means that a square waveform, so let's say this is 50 liters per minute, that 50 is hit right here. You've achieved that 50 and it's maintaining it. This area here is your inspiration. And then from here, downward is your exhalation. You will also have a set tidal volume. So let's pretend this is 500 mLs. Based on this 50 liters per minute, it is delivering 500 mLs of tidal volume at a given pressure. And the pressure is always ascending usually on volume control. Again, you have a set flow at 50, tidal volume is 500. The shapes may look different, that's why I'm putting a number so you'll know it's the same. However, if the next breath has some sort of a resistance or a compliance problem, then most likely your volume, your pressure may be a little bit uh, higher in this case, let's say this is 25, and let's say the earlier breath is 20. All of these are what you call controlled breaths. If it's an assisted breath, then that means the patient is trying to trigger the breath, hence you will have a negative inflection because it goes down under pressure. And this negative inflection, the machine will sense that the patient tries to breathe, will give a mechanical breath. And again, let's say this is 25 with the same flow and the set tidal volume. So the main difference between a controlled breath and an assisted breath is the negative inflection. Although all three are considered mechanical breaths or mandatory breaths. Any combination of these two is your assist control mode. It is volume control because you have a set volume and a set flow.